Hi everybody, it's Carla here, Actor Schools Coordinator with High Life Highland and welcome to another home game video where today we continue our Olympic outlook and theme with some indoor badminton. And in this activity, you even get to make your own homemade badminton rackets. This is what you need and how you're going to do it. Grab for yourself a paper plate if you have one or a lightweight plastic plate. Also go and get a wooden spoon or some large wooden lollipop sticks. And finally, get some tape. Use the tape to secure the spoon to the back of the paper plate, leaving enough handle at the bottom so that you can get a good grip. And there you go, voila, an indoor badminton racket. Alternatively, you can use a piece of paper to form a strap at the back of your paper plate. Fold the paper in half lengthways and then do the same again, fold it in half. Turn the paper round now and fold the length of the paper in on itself. Do that in half and then half again. Once you open the paper up, you can see that you have now created sections and on the outer sections of that piece of paper, you want to create another fold. And this is gonna be where you're gonna secure that paper to your paper plate. So, having now secured it to the paper plate, what you've made is the perfect hand grip badminton racket. And then, last but not least, you are also going to need a balloon. Fab! So, whether it's the first badminton racket with a wooden spoon or your handheld badminton racket with the strap on the back, doesn't matter. We have three many indoor badminton games for you to try today. So, let's get to it. And here we go, we have our first mini game, which is all about getting used to your racket and the balloon, letting the hand-eye coordination settle in before we progress any further. We're gonna perform some keepy ups. See how many hits you can make with your balloon without it hitting the walls or the floor. Also, take this opportunity to get your stance and hands right. I'm making an L shape with my feet, that's going to help me to create good balance and I'm also using my left arm, which is my non-racket arm, to keep balance. That's almost creating an L in and of itself, isn't it? Moving on to mini game two now and we're really upping the stakes. This one is called Back At Ya. Find a wall and standing at a comfortable distance away from that wall, see how many hits you can make with that balloon against the wall. And the balloon, of course, is going to return to you. You want to see how many returns you can make. And this is going to do a couple of things. It's going to prepare us for returning our opponent's shot in the final mini game, but also it's going to help us with our serve. When you throw the balloon up to start your shot, keep an eye on the balloon at all times and then follow through with your racket. Great, now our final mini game is actually indoor badminton with a partner. There we go. So here's Craig, we're going to play a couple of things with indoor badminton. First game is going to be having a rally between us, so we're going to see how many shots we can get consecutively in a row. So keep counting. And then in the second game that we're probably going to go on to play, we'll play for points. If your opponent drops their shot, isn't able to return it, then you get a point. So we're going to try for three points. So let's see how we go. mini games for you to try. Give it a go, send us in uh, some feedback, how you're getting on or even send in your results to your teachers as well. Thanks again for joining us guys, uh, please stay safe, stay active and stay in touch. <laughs>